Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to complete day two here at the 2018 BDO World Trophy. We introduce to the stage a German Open finalist, the reigning Belgium Open champion from the Netherlands, Dirk Telnicke! the current holder of five BDO World Ranking titles. He's the former World Cup singles champion from Wales, the Cliff, Jim Jim Williams and Dirk Tomakas take the stage. Jim Williams in a very, very relaxed mood, I can tell you. He was in the, he was in the green room, to the, the warm-up room, essentially, for the players before they come onto the stage. And that's also where we're staging our interviews as well. And he was giving Lorraine Mid Stanley a particularly hard time by his antics off the camera. Not that you didn't notice Lorraine's professionalism saw her through. But Jim is in a very relaxed mood, which is understandable for a man who's uh, in wonderful form. He did the double in uh, Belgium, the same as uh, Fanon Sherrick, who uh, won the Bruges and the Belfry Opens in, uh, in Belgium. And this is, a, this is a man who's always had a lot of potential to do some very, very good things. And he's uh, coming into this on the back Thank of you, a very, very good First performance. Leg, yep, and uh, going against a man from the Netherlands, 23 years of age, from Deventer, BDO World Ranking number two. So he's got a job on here against the BDO World Rank number four, 49. Uh, well, we've had one or two shocks in the tournament. This certainly would be one of them. Yeah, he's by no means a, a rookie, though, Dirk Tomakas, despite his uh, young years, got to the German Open final this year in 2018. He beat my Scott Mitchell for that one. And that, of course, can happen to anyone 96. on the tour. Scott, one of the elite players of this group. Dirk Telemachus offer a test to Jim Williams. But uh, make no mistake, the form that the number four seed has been in, you would expect him to uh, improve upon his uh, best result in this World Trophy, which previously is a last 16 finish in 2014. 100. Only 45 from Telnike. He's got to do better than that, hasn't he? If he's going to live with the Welshman. And uh, 59. Ray Warren, the Welshman who played earlier tonight, the very first game, put up some resistance, but in the end fell 6-3 to Wes Arms from the Netherlands. So a chance for a repulsive Principality. 44. Dirk is not on a finish just yet. Jim now is at 143. We've already seen a 143 go tonight. And it was. Nice to see another. That's it. 
Thomas for a young Dutch player, throws pretty slowly. So used to these young Dutch players throwing at a million miles an hour, but far more reserved. Comparison. Yes, it was one minute, that one, four, three. Bang, 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 rapid fire. And his opponent was uh, Mark Nagini waiting on a double. One half and driven, four, four legs he got. Second of the fire, eighty three. Come back, temporary comeback as it turned out. But, uh, um, 16 for Bull here, Bullseye. Fifty-eight. Don't you require March against the throw. Can he get the double top? Way, way over. Good yeah, adjustment the though there. Slide. Good adjustment. Ten One nil to the Dutchman. Yeah, you'd say that was a marker, but it was <laughs> far from it. Nearly missed the board with his first attempt second at the double. More than first. made up for it with Game his second. Now it's a good, good leg to win. Patelnikas, Jim Williams yet to really settle in this one. And of course the advantage of throwing first is now totally lost by Jim Williams and Patelnikas can really, as you say, still get a march on this game here. Yes, he's stolen the throw, but uh, it's better to lose the throw early doors than at the last minute. He may get it back again here with that excellent uh, opening score. Much more like the Jim Williams we've been used to seeing this year. 85. Just look to set this one up. Tonic is a little way back, but he's not too far back. If uh, Jim Williams should come aground. Yeah. Nice stage this makes another ton 40, though. Brilliant darts. Nine darts, 41 left. Williams at his best. Still got to finish it, of course. Put it on with another trouble 20 there, just to put himself a little closer to finish. So 11 data. All right, a 12 data. Just move inside that. And he has done, but too far. <laughs> now, this is where Telnik has could have done with a slightly bigger score before. 1-2-1's one, one. not impossible, especially now 11 for Bull. At bullseye beckons. Oh, and not convincing. Normally, at least you get the 25. However, it's beaten the Yeah, it certainly was, and that would have been a real sucker punch from Telemachus. Williams, having played so well in this leg, needs to tidy it up, though. Eventually takes it. He did 15 darts in the end. It could and perhaps should have been 11. But the uh, legs are stolen back, and the advantage back with the Welshman on a piece. Yes, from Prestine in Paris, right on the border, the Herefordshire, the Herefordshire and uh, Paris border there. 58. Uh, known as the Quith. I hope my pronunciation is right. I've been criticised my pronunciation of Wayne Warren. 140. Look at it. Not easy for an Englishman, even if he has a Welsh surname to pronounce. <laughs> 77. Two in for Telnikus, follow that with a third. Second maximum of the match, one apiece. That's lovely darts from Dirk Telnikus. Who uh, naturally has put himself in a pretty good position here take the darts back every leg gone against the throw so far he'll look for a treble here though gets it good dart as well leave himself a nice round number with 90 he's gonna have plenty of goes at it especially with one on the floor from Williams <laughs> I read his lips then when that fell to the floor <laughs> are you able to repeat uh, yeah no I shan't repeat it <laughs> he wasn't pleased with the bounce out and uh, now 
He wants the bullseye. He's had one go at it. And this time he gets it. Maybe the last one was practice. What a great leg that was from the Dutchman. Absolutely brilliant. Got a 180 in that leg. Polished that up nicely. I think I'm right in saying it was possibly a 12 darter. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think you're right I think in saying I, I that. Yeah, it was, yes. Terrific. Excellent stuff. Yeah, really, really good leg that from Dirk. He's uh, very capable of pulling out legs like that. As, as with a lot of young players... Uh, it tends to be the, the consistency which is always there when doing. They're always capable of pulling out legs like that. Is a good score there, one three four. Yeah, he's only 23 years of age and following, no doubt, hoping to follow in the footsteps of great Dutch masters, both past and present. And, um, there with that last finish that uh, he's not without talent well he wouldn't have been here would he but you know what I mean yeah, it's amazing to think he's just a couple of years the senior of uh, our big young star of the night William Borland I think if you put those two together in a lineup, you'd have put a far more than two years between them but, uh, the baby face Borland has already given us one Starlet performance and uh, tell me because if he knocks out Williams here that would be right up there with Borland's win over Whitehead. 58, Jimmy require 167. He's the Belgian Open champion of 2017. Semi-finalist in the England Open in the same year. And uh, finalist in the German Open not very long ago to be underestimated oh well, excellent the there's further four. evidence of that Jimmy requires 70 so, 70 a must you feel 52 left now double 16 54. Ooh, just missed it I'm only going by his reaction to be honest 36. big opening here then a Telemachus 18s double 9 We'll definitely go for it now. A little bit reserved there, you feel, with that one. But just misses the mark, too. That was a good chance for 3 1. Now, Williams to continue the theme of legs against the throw. Every single one of them. The throw doesn't matter in this round one match. Two apiece. Breaks it every leg so far. And if every leg is broken right the way through to the tenth and it goes five apiece, you'd still, you'd still. Be glad that you'd won the ball when you were going first. But statistically, it's got to work in your favour. There's not a player I know who wouldn't give who would give the darts away in a deciding single leg. No way. Jim Williams is in again here. Just about a bit of this third dart. Interesting, actually, just looking at those averages, John. First nine dart average for Jim Williams is really, really good. You can see he's scoring pretty well. He gets towards the end yes, of the leg. Inevitably, if you're not hitting your doubles, you're going to be finding a dramatic reduction in the mean score. 59. And even if you hit the doubles, you're still going to come down a little bit because the doubles don't give you as many points as the treble. Oh, oh brilliant. that's brilliant. Sorry, mate, but we were in harmony there. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, not perfect harmony, hardly the Everly Brothers, but that was brilliant. That was. It absolutely was, yeah. Brilliant in stereo, which I think was uh, deserved for such a good shot from Telnikers. All it does serve to do, though, is bring him a little bit closer. He's still a long way back in this leg. Williams has fired in the best part of 400 off 12 darts, and he's got a finish. Two there. 82 lefty. 14 will leave tops this is a great finish if he gets it yes well done 102 finish it may have been the 180 hit at Delnikis who held the advantage but uh, Williams took advantage of having that throw to his advantage yeah it's the first leg of the match after five which has been held which is quite remarkable 
But uh, Jim Williams looking now to consolidate that advantage. Leads 3 2. And if he can break the throw of Telnikers for the second, for the third time rather in the match, he's uh, got a good chance of advancing through. Remember, only first to six. Yeah, crucial point in the game and uh, interesting to see. 100! Reaction Telnikers if he fails to hit. Just a hint that last visit that he. A little despondent, I'm sure he isn't, but... Uh, so he had, yes, he's disappointed there, and it'll be interesting to see how he picks himself up and reacts. Because we saw earlier in the night, a player who was playing pretty well, and then things didn't go his way, and suddenly... He, um, he found himself losing 6-1, that was Dean, of course. Dean. Dean Reynolds, yeah, just, yeah. just disintegrated, did, doesn't he? He did. His performance. And, 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 and I'm not suggesting it's going to happen here, but obviously Telnik is, is one who reacts to his uh, own disappointing darts, if I can call them that. Yeah, you can see there just a grimace on the face of Dirk. 58. Can't get a treble, and Jim Williams here with a chance, as we mentioned, to consolidate that hold of throw to break Telnik's throw for the third straight time. Won't do it now. And even at this relatively early juncture, this 1-4-6 could be massive. Six. Well, it will be. It'll be equal to some of the big finishes we've seen in similar circumstances. Uh, can't do it now, obviously, but uh, no reason why he should come downstairs. 58 scored to leave himself on 88. And Williams now 56 for a 4-2 lead. Double top, served him well on 102 a few minutes ago, and he's not far away from the very point, uh, pinpoint place where he struck it before. So that's a third leg on the trot now to Williams, and this uh, promising start made by the Dutchman is beginning to fade into the distance. Yeah, it is, and you can just see there Williams, heavy scorer, is at already 10. 100 plus scores and sometimes yes Telnik is it more 180s but it's it's the consistent scoring oh, around the treble right. which makes the difference and, and, the, and the most important of those 100 plus scores was 102 checkout yeah uh, very very good wins point. the leg yeah 139 there with the light 139 at the visit and it's a testament really to how quick fire the action has been tonight that we're so far ahead of schedule. This match was only meant to start three minutes ago. <laughs> but uh, the darts has been quick fire and we've seen some big scores as well. And talk about big scores. 177 from Jim Williams. That's brilliant. Just as good as a 180. Yeah, well, it takes him from 302 to 125 and uh, really puts him in control of this leg. And uh, went via the ball, but uh, didn't hit it. So 115 left, 96. Treble 20 would have left. Double 18, but he's in the comfort zone. Jimmy requires Partly because of the consistency of the Welshman. Confident after two successes over an important weekend in Belgium recently. 44. Yeah, just got a little bit oh, complacent, maybe a bit harsh to him, but missing the single there was almost unforgivable. Telnikers will put a little bit on this finish. Really good visit. This has to go for Jim. Up to the red bit. In the red bit. It does have to go for Jim. And it does go for Jim. Four legs on the trot now. Good effort there by Telnikers to keep himself in the match. But uh, of course he's not out of it yet. But uh, Williams needs one leg. Telnik is all remaining four. He's made a good start to this one, Steve, but he's got to maintain it. 
through four consecutive legs. Yeah, really good start to this leg. Wants to follow this in if he can with another one. No, he's unlucky, but still a decent visit. Needs to hold his throw for the first time in this match. Remarkable, seven legs in total. There's two victories in legs. He's got the throw, Williams. He's in a couple of treble 19s for good measure. Good chance of at least getting this eighth leg. Needs a treble, Williams. Forty-one. It's unusual for him not to hit a treble, frankly. So 35 ahead, now 50 ahead. 70 ahead, he won't stay up there, will he? Could knock that out. Oh, 95. that's a great dart. That's a very, very good dart. Confident dart yeah, as well. Yeah. 136, two treble 20s, double eight, Six just three. like that. Don't you require Five 136? Three. You called it, John. Oh, <laughs> not like that. I thought he was going to get it. I thought. Oh, I was just about to ask you for the Saturday's lottery numbers while you were at it, if that had fired in. It's a good recovery from Williams, but he might not get a shot hit. Telnik is double eight, keeps himself alive in this one. Five three, eventually holds his throw after such a good attempt at the one three six and a good leg in the run up to that. Just feel it was deserved. Yeah, he's got to chip away Telnik is leg by leg. He's got to outscore Williams, and this is going to be easy. A ton forty start by the Welshman. It's not bad, it's, it's not bad by any means, but somehow he's got to find a way of getting ahead of this fella. 100! Oh, it's been the hardest thing to do in this match for Dirk Williams. His scoring has been really impressive. 60! Discernible thrutch there as he lurched forward that last dart that's a sign of anxiety and uh, in contrast williams sweet as a lot they're going in there in this leg ton 40 ton and ton 40. nine darts thrown one two one left for a six three 100 win. jim you require 120 go then we'll start treble 20. gets it has a little think Went for treble 15. Single 14 leads him a double. He's going to have darts at it. Telnik is his well back. All he can do to fire in a big score. Oh, yeah, we call it hit and hope. Unlucky there. Could have been a 140. But I think it's academic anyway. 32 wanted by the Welshman. Double eight. It's been pretty good to him in this game. It's good to him again. Jim Williams, the number four seed. A clinical, quality performance against a plucky Dutchman, Dirk Talnikers. And it's Williams who'll be through to the second round. He'll be playing at the weekend. And an excellent performance by him. Smooth. Congratulations on the win. How do you analyse that performance? Um, well, good. I won. <laughs> but it was a bit of a steady start. I was a bit edgy to start with. But, um, yeah, come pretty good. You seem to be in really, really good nick at the minute. Two wins in Belgium over the weekend as well, both Belfry and the Bruges. Just talk us a little bit through that because that seems to have set you up really nicely. Um, I don't know how to do that. I just I was taking a game, each game as it comes. Um, it's just at the moment it's easy for me, so it, and it's great. It's great to be like that. So yeah, I just take it as it is at the moment and just enjoy it. So yeah, it's going right. Yeah, it's just a case of not overanalyzing it too much and just enjoying the run while it is. Yeah. Man, as soon as you start thinking about it, it's game over. So, yeah. I'm, uh, at the moment, I'm just playing three darts at a time and it's going all right. So. And three darts at a time, just talk to me about that because the, the average for your first nine was right up there. You seem to be scoring really, really well in, in that match. If you know that you're scoring that well, it must give you so much confidence when it comes to the doubles at the end of the leg. I don't know it's about confidence. You don't really think about it at a time, but if you score on well, you give yourself a chance. So. That's all I want to do. If I get a chance, I'm going to have a go. Like.
And in the next round, you're up against another youngster, uh, William Borland, who played brilliantly earlier against against Conan. Did you keep an eye on that game? Were you, were you aware of what you were com potentially coming into? Not really. I, I know me and Conan were like destined to meet perhaps in the second round, and we always play each other. Whatever tournament it is, we're gonna we end up playing each other. So I just I, I thought it was gonna be Conan. So yeah, got to reset myself again now for someone else. Yeah, absolutely. And in terms of this competition, I know it's uh, something that all the all the players want to win. Is it is an event on on TV? It has that little bit of extra prestige about it. Is this something you you've earmarked on the run you're on to have a really good go at? Not really. I'm. Uh, my, like my ranking's good. Um, I've nothing to defend here from last year, so I'll just whatever. I'm just I'm going to enjoy it and then see what happens from there. Well, I've certainly enjoyed watching you so far. Best of luck in the next round. Yeah, man. Give the Red Lion boys a shout out.